Okay, we're gonna go ahead and set up the battery now. In the box, you'll find the acid. You'll find the battery cover, this little bag of hardware, and the battery itself. The battery has a foil strip over the top of it. You'll need to remove that. Once you remove it, you'll see that there's some openings here. Uh, that's where the acid goes into. Uh, so what we're going to do is go ahead and remove the, the top strip here off the acid pack. Very carefully because we don't want the acid to spill. And you want to put the battery on top of it. Okay, once you get the acid pack fully inserted into the battery, you need to make sure that it's all the way in. And in one quick movement, just flip it over, and we're going to allow the acid to drain into the battery. Some of the acid packs uh, are a little bit different. Some of them have a little foil cover over them, in which case you could just uh, leave the battery upright and uh, just flip it over, and then you pop the uh, acid pack on top. This particular one had this strip. Um, that once you remove this, the acid is, uh, will come out of the tube. So be careful to check which type of uh, acid container you have. It's going to take a few minutes for this to, uh, to drain out. Uh, once it does uh, completely absorb all the acid, you want to let it sit for about 10-15 uh, minutes uh, so it vents out any gases that it might have. Again, you're going to need to be in an open environment where you have a lot of good air circulation. And uh, once that's done, this strip will go on top and then we're going to go ahead and charge the battery. Okay, we've allowed some time to let the acid uh, soak in here. So we're going to go ahead and remove this. Again, be sure that you don't spill any acid out. And uh, this is the cap that covers the battery, it seals it. This has the ID10T sticker on it. Uh, it says the plug will function after acid filling. Please don't remove it. So we're going to go ahead and put this on top. You'll need a little hammer just to get it in place there okay and we got the battery sealed up we're gonna go ahead and put it on the charger now okay we're gonna go ahead and charge the battery up now uh, when you charge up your scooter batteries regardless if this is scooter ATV go-kart or dirt bike you want to use a proper charger. Um, these batteries should not be charged uh, more than uh, at a two amp rate. If you do not have a two amp or below charger, take it to any auto parts store. They can charge it up for you at no charge. Okay. We're going to go ahead and hook up our charger terminals here. This is the positive, which goes to the plus and the negative, which goes to the uh, black or the minus. Uh, we're going to allow this to charge uh, just for a couple hours uh, at two amps and uh, then we could go ahead and install it into the bike. Okay, we've charged our battery. Now we're gonna go ahead and install it in the scooter. Again, on this particular vehicle, the battery goes in a storage compartment underneath the floor mat. You're gonna have a couple wires inside of this compartment here. Uh, you'll see this wire here that has a fuse holder in it. It has this black sheathing around it, but uh, this is actually connected to the positive terminal here. On some bikes, they're separate. On this one, they're both attached, so that makes it a little bit easier. And then you have a ground wire here, which is your black one, which goes to the negative side of the battery. On some bikes, there's also, uh, you might find an electrical component in here. Uh, you just need to make room to fit the battery and the electrical component. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get our hardware pack out here that came with the battery. And you'll see here, if we take a closer look, there's uh, two screws and two nuts. The nuts go inside of the battery terminal here. We'll show you here exactly where they go. They're square, so they just slide right into the hole here. And we're going to just carefully lower the battery down into the compartment. 
when you put the battery in there, you want to make sure you don't pinch these wires. <clears throat> you want to make sure that they stay up on top. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put the uh, terminals here. I'm going to just put the screw through the terminal here and hook this up to the positive. Again, the red is the positive. And we're going to go ahead and tighten that onto the uh, battery here. You want to make sure that connection is nice and snug so it doesn't rattle loose. And then we slip over these protective covers here. And you can just tuck in the wire in there, just make sure that it's uh, not pinched. And we're going to do the same thing here on the negative cable. We're going to hook that up, screw it in. Make it nice and snug and then put the protective cover over the terminal. I want to do a final check here, make sure that the wires are routed correctly, that they're not being pinched. Before we install the battery panel on this particular model, we have to loosen up these screws here. And the uh, battery panel is going to just slide in underneath. Okay, once you have the battery panel in place, you can just go ahead and put the screws in, tighten everything up. And we're going to tighten down the battery cover here as well. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and install the floor mat. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and drop the floor mat in place here. On the back side of the floor mat, you'll see there's these rubber nubs. They correspond with the holes in the floorboard here. So you just kinda of wanna line it up and then just press each one in. Okay, with the format in place, we're gonna go ahead and snap in the VIN cover. It's a good idea to write down the uh, VIN number before you put the cover on. So when you call in for registration, you'll have this information available ready to go. The VIN number here is a 17 digit number stamped onto the frame. This is the plastic panel that covers it, just snaps into place like that. And we're done. So now we got the battery set up. We got the uh, floor mat installed. We got the VIN cover in place. Next thing we're going to do is install the windshield and mirrors.